Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. Could we hit Al with one news story? Yeah, it was actually two I wanted to Go do. Ahead. Greg DeHammer Valentine interview that he did with Wrestling Shoot Interviews. He was talking about the Ultimate Warrior and working with him on house shows. And he said it was god-awful. He was horrible. That was the worst week. We did all the small towns in Florida and Georgia. It was me and Warrior against Hercules and Jake the Snake or something. It was the worst week in the business. He goes on to say Warrior couldn't be taught anything, noting he didn't know how to sell or do the basics. He didn't know jack shit about wrestling. He was effing horrible. He was worse than Hogan. Yeah, he was terrible. He was really bad. But what made him really bad and what got him a lot of heat in the locker room was he didn't care. He had no respect for any of his fellow wrestlers. He didn't was it's basically what it's modern wrestling, quite honestly. He he only cared about himself. He only cared if he got over. He only cared, you know, he didn't protect anyone uh physically. It was all all him or nothing. That was it. That's not the art of wrestling. Rest, uh, the art of professional wrestling is to elevate your opponent so that it now elevates you because you've beat someone or something instead of because if you beat nothing, you are nothing. He wouldn't do that. He only was concerned about himself. The real art of professional wrestling is not to convince your opponents, to convince the audience and always look out for and protect your opponent. And, you know, because when you pick them up off the mat and they're trusting you with their bodies, you're now responsible for putting them back down in a safe manner. He didn't care. Yeah. And you no, know, lots of guys did not like or did not want. But Al, he, but Al here's my beef. And that's that's. Here, we just sat there watching all these videos of modern but, wrestling. But, but here's my beef with this. And this. This is what I'm talking about, about taking taking a step back. Bro, are we really going to freaking bury a dead guy? Well, like, 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 like seriously, bro. The, the guy's freaking dead. You, you, you know what I mean? He's got a wife. He's got kids. He's not here to defend themselves. That, that, that's what I mean about freaking wrestling. The guy's freaking dead, and we're going to bury a dead guy? Come come on, bro. Like, seriously. Here's, come on. Here's the deal. Hold on. Hold the brakes. Come on, here's Al. The difference. <laughs> Greg Valentine. Are you going to say Greg Valentine looks like he's dead, so it's okay? No, I'm not. Okay. If you would okay. shut up, I'd okay. get my opinion. I now. thought you were going to say, well, Greg Valentine <laughs> looks like he's dead, so, you know, one dead man burying another, it's okay. I thought that's what you were going to say. Go ahead, Al. No, he looks like throw mama from the train. Um, no. Greg Valentine was asked a question, uh, and, and, Greg and Greg Valentine Valentine's should say, "I'm not going to. I'm not going to comment on a dead man." Okay, I'm going to bury you. I'm going to bury you when you're dead, and I want to see how you feel. I want to see how you feel when you're dead. Okay, bro. If I buried you, if I buried you when I, you were dead, your sweetheart, who love you, love you, love you, would freaking come gunning for me and chop my long and short balls off. Okay, I don't know. make excuses. You know I'm going to drive to Vermont and kick you in one of your yeah. balls, then drive to Fort Lauderdale and kick you in the second yeah. one. Now I'm intrigued to hear your answer. Go ahead, Al. I, I'm intrigued. He, Greg Valentine, I promise you, said the exact same thing directly to Warrior in his face when he was alive. That's the difference. If he, he, it would be different if it was that opinion and was reserved and was only spoken once he passed on. But I promise you, every one of the boys made it clear they didn't like him and they didn't like working with him. And they made it clear to him. And he didn't care. Was he always like that, Al? Or did, he, did he change as he got older? It was always how he was. I mean, he, he, I got along with him, he, you know, because I didn't have to work with him. You know what I mean? But... He was always he was always like that, very you know, and and very aggressively like that. It wasn't like he was timid or mild about it. He was he was very verbose about it. And that you know, I get what you're saying. Why why speak ill of the dead? He he was speaking ill of him while he was alive and right in front of him in the same room. So you know, all right, that's, that's no different.